I am Columbus Police Chief Tom Quinlan. Today is Christmas Eve, a time when we should be gathering with those we love. The family of Andre Hill has nothing to celebrate this holiday. Someone very important won't be with them this holiday or any other. A Columbus police officer is responsible for that, and that breaks my heart. This is why today, I am announcing action to terminate Officer Adam Coy. I have filed two departmental charges alleging critical misconduct against Officer Coy. After an expedited investigation, I have sustained those charges. Based on these findings, I am recommending discipline of termination. Today, Officer, Officer Coy will be served notice of the charges against him and my recommendations now go to the Public Safety Director. The process of departmentally charging an officer typically includes a hearing before the Chief of Police, before a determination of wrongdoing or any discipline. In this case, I have bypassed that step. Like all of you, I witnessed his critical misconduct firsthand via his body-worn camera. I have seen everything I need to see to reach the conclusion that Officer Coy must be terminated immediately. Some may call this a rush to judgment. It is not. We have an officer who violated his oath to comply with the rules and policies of the Columbus Division of Police. And the consequences of that violation are so great, it requires immediate action. This violation costs an innocent man his life. There are two administrative investigations underway. This first investigation is related to Officer Coy's unreasonable use of deadly force, failure to activate his body-worn camera, and failure to render aid to Mr. Hill. The second investigation pertains to the additional officers involved in this incident who either failed to activate their body cameras or failed to render aid. Any other officers found to have violated policy will be held accountable. I have taken these steps in consultation with the city, Columbus City Attorney's Office. As Chief of Police, it is solely my duty to bring charges against officers, make recommendations for discipline, and deliver my findings to the Director of Public Safety. Some have asked why they haven't seen me publicly over the last 48 hours. This is why. I have spent every waking minute evaluating the facts of this horrific shooting, the legal op options at my disposal, and setting the necessary process in motion. Mayor Ginther and Safety Director Pettis have been the public voices on this. It was critical that I attend to the urgent matter of completing an expedited investigation to deliver to Director Pettis. The next step in the process is a hearing before the Public Safety Director. That will happen Monday morning, after which the Director will rule on my recommendation of termination. The Ohio Bureau of Criminal Investigation is handling the criminal investigation of Mr. Hill's death. Whether Officer Coy violated the law is for BCI to investigate and a prosecutor to determine. And I have full faith in their ability to conduct a complete, impartial, and just investigation. I am a father and a grandfather. I cannot fathom the pain Andre Hill's family is feeling right now. He was taken from them by violence preventable violence, senseless violence. This didn't have to happen and it never should have. Andre Hill should be with his family this holiday. I ask this community to wrap their arms around his family and join me in praying for their comfort.